for around 5 US dollars from AliExpress you can get this module and what is it and I have already reviewed it but in today's video I will show you something else it's a USB charging desktop computer chassis power supply ATX adapter board power takeoff module power supply output wiring and you can get it for around 5 US dollars from AliExpress the links for all products that you will see in today's video will be in description below so you can check it and let me tell you many of you are commenting how to combine the modules so this module it's for power supply unit like this for PC computer that give only 12 volts maximum but can deliver many amperes so the main connector goes right here okay by the way, you can use 24 pin and 20 pin uh, connector from power supply. And using this board, I will tr trigger the power supply to give all the voltages from 3.3 volts, 5 volts, and 12 volts. Also, this board has eight USB ports, so you can plug in multiply devices. Also, this infrared sensor, I find out that is for testing remote controls but never mind using this module using this DC to DC booster converter and my power meter I will show you how to wire everything and from 12 volts to get maybe 24 volts maybe 30 volts whatever you want let's do that now okay let me explain all the modules how are connected. Here we have the ATX power supply board with the USB ports that trigger the power supply and we, when you press the on button it will deliver 12 volts. From 12 volts positive and negative wire go to input of DC to DC converter or booster who will increase the voltage from 12 volts to whatever voltage we want this booster can deliver from i think from 10 to 50 volts okay the output from the dc booster is connected to the dc multifunctional tester that will be that we gonna monitor the voltage and the amperes okay it's simple only positive and negative wires coming out coming into the dc converter coming out to the power meter and output I'm gonna have on this positive and negative alligator clip clips powering in 3, 2, 1 and take a look you can hear the power supply power off power on working great and you can see that on the power meter we read 17.7 volts but the power supply is giving 12, 12 volts that's why the DC converter is here to boost the voltage and I can adjust the voltage using these blue things call it multi-turn potentiometers and when you rotate them you, you will increase the voltage take a look 18 19 volts and let's go to how much let's say at, let's say at 24.3 volts okay let's hook up some load now this will be my load two car bulbs connected in serial so I can hook up 24 volts they are 20 watt, 21 watt each so both of them will pull around 1.5 amperes I don't know we're gonna see that turning on working great the output voltage is 24.4 volts and I'm gonna hook up the bulbs 
and take a look the voltage stay, stays at 24.3 volts and we are pulling 1.7 amperes and in watts that is 42 watts beautiful in the same time you can adjust the current and you can adjust the the voltage let's try to do that take a look now I'm gonna set on 20 volts or increase it again 24 yes beautiful so from ATX power supply that is giving 12 volts through the switching board for ATX power supply that is giving 12 volts go to the DC booster to the power monitor to the light bulbs it's working great maybe it looks complicated but believe me it's not there are only two wires positive and negative coming out coming in coming out and so on turning off so here I have a LED chip that works on 36 volts but right now I'm sending 24 I'm gonna increase the voltage 25 28 30 let's go to the 36 maybe whoa it's too bright okay 35 volts it's pulling 0 0.2 amperes and 7 watts wow, super bright all right all right let's disconnect it working fine from 12 volts to 36 volts for powering LED chips so take a look now the voltage is set on 14.4 volts and of course you can charge 12 volt car batteries take a look with power supply from PC computer I set it on 14.4 volts and it's pulling 3 amperes 40 watts and I'm charging the battery how beautiful is that from 12 volts I'm increasing little bit more to 14.4 volts to charge the battery also you can adjust the current on this DC to DC converter one of the multi multi turn potentiometer is for adjusting the voltage constant voltage and constant current take a look now is set on 1 amper to charge the battery the voltage is 13.7 because I have limit the current and I'm not gonna increase the current now take a look 1.1 1.2 1.4 let's say and it will charge the battery with the same current 1.4 amperes until reach 14.4 volts beautiful combining all the modules for one big project like this one okay all the links for the modules will, will be in description below so you can check it and that was all for today video please give a like share and subscribe to my channel see ya I hope you learn something new and that is my point to show you stuff like this okay